Okay, I'm on the iPhone right now. I just wanted to make a quick video about my recent blood results. This cheat is about vitamin D. Um, I am high carb vegan since two years. I've been taking 2500 units per day and the last half year I've been taking a vegan product called VitaShine along with 100 micrograms, micrograms of vitamin K. And the result is 22.7. This is not enough. It should be between 60 and 80 actually, what I found online. But the German ranges say 30 to 60. So I found a formula online, actually a video of a German guy as well. He put this formula from, from a German book called Healthy in seven days, gesund in sieben Tagen, and it's about vitamin D. <coughs> Sorry, and how you can get your levels optimal in seven days by following a specific formula to calculate it. Well, you can check it out yourself. It takes too long to explain, but the result for me is that if I want to be between 50 and 55, I have to take 16 to 17 of, can I show it? Oh, the light is so bad, of this product. It's called Dicristol 20,000. <clears throat> it's little capsules. Um, obviously they are not vegan. I guess they are made of gelatin and inside there is peanut oil and 20,000 units of vitamin D made of sheep wool. I don't really care if this product is vegan because I rather take one of those pills as if I would have to take the vegan supplement which is available here. It is 5,000 units and I would have to take four times the amount. Like I would have to take 24... Uh, I don't know, 60 or 70 of those per week and they have fillings in it and, and whatsoever so I'm just taking one of those per day for 16 days. The book is called Healthy in 7 Days. You can take two per day or two and a half, yeah, two and a half not but two or three and the other day two but I'm gonna do this all in 16 days so I only have to take one per day. I take it along with a vegan vitamin K supplement. This is the one. It's made of natto. It has 100 uh, you cannot see it. 100 micrograms. It's uh, micrograms. 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. <clears throat> But actually, this 16 days, I'm going to take two of those capsules, so it's 200 micrograms. The vitamin K is important, the vitamin K2 is important, so the vitamin D knows where to put the calcium in your body. If, he has, if it has to put it in the bones or in the arteries, but of course, you don't want it in the arteries. And the vitamin D knows it because it's getting guided by the vitamin K2. Without vitamin K2 and taking a lot of vitamin D3, you can get calcified arteries or kidney stones. Okay, I think this is enough about vitamin D. The other results are really sad because look at the top. My TSH is back to 3.45. I wanted to scream. But I actually kind of expected it to be bad because the last two months I had lumpy, sore, tender breasts again like three to five days about my before my period and this month shortly after my last period before my ovulation already I had really sore boobs my next, of you, uh, my next menstru menstruation is going to be soon, in two or three days. And, well, since two, two and a half or even more weeks, I have sore, lumpy, painful breasts. Okay. Um, 
yeah what else oh yes i've lost i am lost um i think it's because i reduced the dosage because from i believe may to july i have been without any issues i had no boob pain i had no itchy legs and my tsh was fine in july i believe it was like 1.9 which is okay and I thought, okay, Stevie, it's all fine now. You are soaked with iodine. You can cut the dosage now. And I got back from 50 or 100 milligrams. I don't know what I've been taking that moment. But I cut it back to 12.5 milligrams per day. I've also cut down a bit on the selenium, the B2 and the B3. And well, the result is this. TSH is up, problems are back, except the itchy legs. So I upped the dosage again to 100, up the selenium, the B2 and B3, so everything is like it was four or five months ago. But I am i don't want to say I'm kind of happy that this happened, but if it's going to be all okay again in one, two or three months, I know for 100% that it is the iodine that is helping me. It wasn't a coincidence. It was just the iodine and that I that 12.5 milligrams is just too little for me or that I've not reached sufficiency yet, whatever. So then I'm really willing to take 100 milligrams for a longer time of period without cutting it back. So also I want to show you something. I hope I can. Oh, the lighting is really bad. I don't know if you can see this bump. Can you see it? Oh, the light is bad. I hope. You, you know this knuckle here, everyone has this, it's a bone. But this is not supposed to be there. Yeah, I guess you can. You can see the, sh the shadow it's making, right? And then you know there is a bump. It's a cyst. It's actually as big as a cherry, I would say. You cannot really see it, but you can feel it. And it's a ganglion cyst. And I also used to have it like six or eight months ago, but on iodine it used to fade away. Either it was coincidence again or it was the iodine. And now being low on iodine and having the TSH back on 3.45, the ganglion is back. And actually it's a different spot. The last time it used to be in the middle of my wrist. So let's see if this disappears as well. What else do we have? Cholesterol, yeah, I want to cry. It's still 210. I'm 80 10 10. I'm not 95 5 or something. I'm always having like 10% fat. Sometimes it might be 12 or 13. Other days it might be 8. But summary, it's 10%. Um, car carbs sometimes could be a bit less than 80 and I could have more protein because I was eating a lot of peas or stuff like that but generally it's 80 10 10 um, so I don't know why the cholesterol is still so high maybe my liver is just binding and producing some cholesterol to save my arteries to loop them up I don't know the thing underneath is CRP, that is a protein or something that shows you if you have infections in your body. It, the result is okay, it's 0 0.03 and I just did this because I had a root canal recently and before it's getting finally filled I wanted to know if I still have any infections there going on which I might not feel. And you can see there is no infection anymore. Um, the other results are just all in range. Uh, the BSG is um, blood... How is it called? Another thing that shows you if you have infections and it's also fine. Well, well you can see everything is in range so, so far. Mm, what else? I guess that's it. Why is there such a weird shadow? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see how I can upload this from my iPhone, if it even works. If you have any comments, any questions, any suggest suggestions, then let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I guess that's it. Bye-bye.